Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another MAMJ Let's Play. As you guys can tell, I am back playing some Pilgrim, because guess what? There is another ending in this game, and it's really, really sneaky how they did it. Actually, it's kind of genius, and it's also kind of sneaky. So, I've been playing back through this game again, and you guys are going to notice a little something that's going to change. So, you guys may remember this floor. This is pretty close to the end of the game. Now, when I go to this locker... Or this little treasure box and unlock it. Okay, got the key, or the fake eye, so we're gonna go back. And our little friend Mr. Zombie Face is gonna pop back up. So, so far, nothing's changed. But you guys remember that when we hid into the lockers, Sue got jacked up. He got cut in half. Something different's gonna happen this time. And I'll, I'll let you guys know exactly what causes this to happen while this zombie is checking. Absolutely nothing. You just have to play through the game a second time. That's all it takes. I was playing through it again, trying to see if I could find something to trigger a different ending. And this is exactly what happened. So once I found this, I went ahead and stopped everything, got my recording equipment set up, and wanted to share it with you guys. So I don't know what's going to change. I don't know what's going to be different. It may be a shorter episode, but we will get another ending at least. Right, so now, you guys remember, Sue jumps out. Here. Ah? You stupid monster. I'm at your back. Akimi? Look at that picture. Oh, God. Yeah. She stabs him right in the back of the head. Sue, don't do silly things, okay? Return you your words. Okay. Right back at you is probably what he meant, but that's okay. Yeah, he's dead. So, that happened. That's the thing. Um, I don't know what's going to happen after this, to be honest with you. I didn't even watch the end of that scene. I watched her stab a dude in the head, and I was like, holy crap, it's different. So, now, we're going to go up here. And I did notice that this song that plays in this floor... Um, is it very loud? It's very, very quiet. So I was like listening to it, rocking out to it, and I'm pretty sure you guys couldn't even hear it. Okay, I don't think this is going to be any different because it's just a password. But I'm pretty sure when we get into that room and talk to that girl, she's going to say different things to us. I still don't know what that... I thought that needed to have something done to it, but okay. I don't know. Let's just go back. Get out of my way, Clouds. Ser seriously, get out of my way. Uh, Yeah, so as you guys can tell, I like blazed through the game a second time, trying to figure out what I could do um, differently, because it just seemed like something was going to change. Oh, Akimi! Yes, turn off the music. I just know you two will be here. I always believe you two can do it. I guess you're looking for Master Alice. She's just one story up. Though you need a key to enter. Where's the key? I'm keeping it. Then, give me. But, I can't give it to you for free. If you can do one thing for me, the key will be yours. Say it. Can I call you sister as well? Huh? I'm so impressed by your love to Inago, so my voice just cracked hardcore. So I'm thinking, if I can have a sister like you, how lucky I will be. I'm the only child of my family. I want to be your sister. Please allow me to call you sister. That simple? Well, whatever you want. Really? Thank you very much, sister. And then, where's the key? Ah, uh, yes, of course, I'll give it to you. I can't refuse my sister's request. Okay, so she didn't really say anything different. Fighting my sister. Okay, okay. She just said that I knew you two would make it. Ah, my sister. Please come and visit me when you're free. Yeah, I know. She said she won't. Who wants to come visit this terrible place again? I really hope something changes. Because if it doesn't, and I went through all of this again, all 30 minutes of my life, something's got to change. Sue is alive, and I have a feeling he plays a much bigger role in this game than it's been alluded to. That's my hope, at least. Okay, so we're going to go up here, and... Ah, crap. This is the final floor. We can go in here. Uh, this is magic. Alice's magic. 
She wants us to get lost. <laughs> I already did before, but we're okay now because we can follow the cat. Yeah, so it's really cool. It's really, really clever because like what I didn't, what I still don't understand is how the game knows when you've beaten the game. Because it's not like a new game plus thing. It literally is just when you just say that you want to start another game. And I was playing through it and then I found out that, lo and behold, it's got a secret little cutscene in it. So it's cool. It's almost like it rewards the players who enjoyed the game enough to want to play it again. Um, you know, it's not just like, oh, I played it once and I'm done with it. It's for people who play the game over and over again and want to experience it one more time. And that would be a really cool surprise if you're playing to get like a week later and you're like, wait, I don't remember this happening. And there you go. Different ending, different arc. Just, just very, very well done. I just gotta say. It's a really cool idea, and I'm glad that I came across it. Because I was just hoping that since it said, like, end um, a certain way, that there was something else there. Inako! Okay, so from here it should be different. Akemi, sister, you're finally here! Alice. Alice, give me back Inago. No, Akemi, sister, please run! Alice will kill you! You're right, so give up! Go back and enjoy your own sweet life. See, you've met Inago. Isn't it a great time for you to go back now? Alice, you... What are you going to do to Inago? I'll only take Inago's soul, and that's all. What are you talking about? How dare you? How dare me? Of course I dare to. I'm sure Inago knows the reason, too. Eh? Two years ago. Do you still remember those three dead girls who bullied you? Now I tell you, they didn't commit suicide. I killed them. Why did you do that? Of course, it's from saving you from those bulliers. I couldn't bear others to bully you. I wanted to help you. Kidding. In fact, it's Inago who begged me to help you. Please kill those girls, she said. You... you lied. I... I only wanted you to stop them from bullying my sister. I never asked you to kill them. Never. Inago, I didn't realize. You knew that I was bullied. Because of me. To protect me, Akimi's sister was bullied. I couldn't forgive that. I really wanted to help you, but I was not able to do anything helpful. At that time, Alice appeared. She said she could make my dream come true. I... I didn't really trust her. I just... I just randomly gave a try, and the next day, those girls died the next day. Yup, that's the story, and whatever I did for you is not free. If I made her dream come true, she would give me her soul after two years. That's our deal. I'm sorry, Akimi sister. I didn't know it's going to turn out like this. Come on, Sue, say something. Alice, it's you. You made use of Inago's kindness. You're really rubbish. Whatever you want to say, you're not able to defeat me anyway. But how about I give you a chance? Want to play a game with me again? If you win, I'll give back Inago. And let's... Play tag! I'll be the one chasing. You can get out of this building without a tag, I'll let you free. Alice, you serious? Of course. I never break my own word. Deal. Let's do it. Wait a minute, Akimi. She can use magic, remember? So you can't win. Then what should I do? I'll stay here to stop her moving. Eh? If you do that, you'll be in danger, Sue. How are you going to escape then? Don't worry. As long as you two are safe. Sue, why do you... I want to ask you too. Don't you hate Inago? Eh? You still don't understand. This Sue is a dead body. She died two years ago. One of the girls I killed. Eh? I'm sorry I said nothing about myself. Do you still remember me? The blonde girl? That's you? I thought this was a dude the whole time. But why? That world is horrible. I was cursed every day by all the bad things I did when I was alive. That's why I felt very, very bad for what I had done to you. So I want to do something for you. Sue. I heard 
That world can change one's personalities. Sounds true. But can you really block my action? Oops, almost at two, three seconds, I guess? I'll let you see. I'll do everything I can. Akimi, I am just a dead body. I can't go with you. So you two must try your best and get out of here. I understand, Sue. Thank you. I promise we will get out of here. Inago, hurry. Go with Akimi. Akimi's sister. Inago, don't worry. I'll save you. I promise. Great. So I'll start counting to ten. One. Let's go, Inago. Ugh. I don't know, guys. I don't know if this is going to turn out any better. Sue was one of the girls, though? Uh-oh. Wh wait I have no interest in playing with a dead cockroach. Oh, Sue... I mean, Sue's dead, but Sue dies anyways. Uh, why? You're so slow. I win! Sue. I get me, sister. We lost. <laughs> Sad. Alice. You said you made Inago's dream come true. If that's real, how about you listen to my dream as well? Eh? It's unfair to make only Inago's dream come true, I guess. Can you make my dream come true as well? I swear, if this ends the exact same way, I'm going to be so disappointed. Eh? Akimi's sister. I see. Of course I can. But you'll pay it with your soul. I really don't mind. Well, so say it. If you want my soul, take it wherever, you, whenever you want. But let Inago go. Set her free. Akimi sister, no. Is that all? You'll not get anything in the end, though. Akimi sister, no. Don't do that. Whoa, Sue! I won't let you touch them, Alice. Oh, snap! Akimi, run! Die. Oh my god! Either way, Sue just ends up ripped in half. Sue, I told you before. You don't have the ability to stop me. Wah! How dare you? Eh? Wow! Ah! Uh, Akimi! Uh, run! You! Run! Hurry! Sue! What are you doing? Run! Sue! Off your hand. Inago, let's go. Sue, thank you. Oh! That really sucks. Sweet lord, she's mad. Okay. Whew. We made it at least. Although that promise. Like, is she still going to come back for her promise? We are back. Akimi sister. Inago. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Thank God. Akimi sister. Sue. We'll stay there forever. Right? It's my fault. It's all my fault. Sue died for me. If I didn't make that wish, everyone would still be alive now. You're probably right. You killed Sue, but... I did too. If I could be braver than being bullied, Inago would not need to worry about me. Not only us, even Sue did the wrong thing before. Akimi's sister... All human beings make mistakes, but we have done whatever we could to make up for our mistakes. Sue must be happy for us, too. Akimi's sister, shall we go back home now? Yep, let's go. Ah. 
Oh? Sounds like ending music to me. Did we do it? Oh, man. That was crazy. So Sue was one of the girls that was bullied and she was being tormented in another world because of what she did? Oh, man. This is why I like to, like, really dig into these games and try to find out as much as I can because, like, the true ending... I don't know. What do you guys think? Which ending do you like? Because the true ending isn't really, like, completely conclusive. Like, I'm guessing, like, the general idea would be that Sue was able to pass on, you know, um, that she had repaid her debt and she's able to move on to another stage of the afterlife. Uh, but I don't know. Like, I just don't know. <laughs> it's a really, really cool ending, though. I liked it. I like seeing the variety of different endings, especially in horror games, because horror games, it's not guaranteed it's going to be happy. Like, sometimes it's worse than what the good ending or other endings could be. I really love this music, though. It's great. And I know um, uh, some of you guys have pointed out that they did use some music from Eve, uh, which it's been a little bit since I played Eve, so I don't remember as much like the music that they use and things like that, but I feel like this game was an excellent homage to RPG Maker horror games in general. Like, there's a lot of different nods. Um, definitely a Yuminiki vibe, definitely an Eve vibe, um, but yet, at the same time, it's its own game, and it's really, really well done. I don't know how long, I don't remember how long the credits were. <laughs> Hopefully, they'll be done soon, and we'll be able to see if we got something else. I don't believe there's anything else. I really, really doubt that they would give you another different ending if you played it through like a third time. Um, I just don't think that's gonna happen. But I'm did, I am glad I did play through it a second time just to see if there's anything else that I missed. Because there's just something like digging in the back of my mind like, is, is, am I missing something? Like, is Sue supposed to die? Which, yeah, she is, but now we know who she is and why she wanted to help us. So, I feel like that's a nice closure to this game. Ending. My brother. Okay. So there we go. We did it. We got the, I believe, true ending to Pilgrim. So, I am going to be starting another game tomorrow. Uh, Actually, I know what it's going to be, and I'm pretty sure you guys who have been following the channel know that the next chapter of Life is Strange has come out, and I've really been wanting to play it, but since I started Pilgrim, I didn't want to put this game on pause or anything like that, and obviously Danganronpa is its own little beast. So, we're going to be doing that next, and then I will be playing Life is Strange for uh, however many episodes it takes to get it done, and then I'll be diving right back into the RPG Maker Horror Games. Hopefully, I can connect with some more developers and find out what games are out there and what's new and interesting that's coming down the pipeline otherwise if you guys have some suggestions for games that have already come out that i need to be playing be sure to let me know in the comments too because i'm trying to kind of scour the internet the best i can but obviously some things do fall through the cracks so anyways i'm done rambling we finished pilgrim we did it uh I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about the ending in the comments and whether you enjoyed the true ending or the ending that I got yesterday. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, I'm done rambling. I feel like I've already said that. It's hot. I'm sweating all over the place. Let's just go ahead and call it a day. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play. Oh, sweet lord. Sue. Uh, uh. Okay, me? Sue, no. Why did you come out? You're sa safe. Thank God. Why did you save me? Why did you sacrifice yourself for me? I'm sorry. I can Sue! Disappeared? Sue, where are you? Sue! Sue!